We all know the rivalry between the Toyota Corolla and the Honda Civic, but now we have a clear winner. The Corolla is getting a huge upgrade, and if you like the current model, buckle up. This is the last time you get to see the current generation in action, and Toyota is going all in for the last hurrah. How would this affect the rest of the market, and what makes the Corolla the winner? Performance Toyota has been upgrading and updating all of their lineup, and the Corolla is also going through changes. Their strategy is easy. Fix what didn't work and double down on what did. Because the Corolla is as good as it is, but the market is definitely changing, and Toyota is at the forefront of this evolution, which is very good for us, the customers. Because we get more options, and this change leaves room for new concepts and new players in the market. This is what the market desperately needs. As of now, the market is held tightly by the Corolla and the Honda Civic. This is not to say that there aren't others, because there are some good ones like the Hyundai Elantra, but the topic of the best sedans always revolves around these two, and that is for a good reason. The best thing the Corolla has to offer is impeccable ride quality and efficiency, and the new model, just like we said earlier, is doubling down on what worked. In fact, Toyota has fine-tuned the suspension so much to provide a pleasant ride while still giving snappy handling and precision steering. But the Corolla is the king of sedans, not only because of its quality driving experience, but also because it's one of the best in terms of fuel efficiency. With an EPA estimated 30 miles per gallon in the city and 38 miles per gallon on the highway, this can go up to 50 miles per gallon, or even higher depending on the trim you get and the engine option you choose. The Corolla has so many trim options to choose from, but it's not just a marketing gimmick. Each has its own purpose, and we'll talk about that in just a few minutes. And the other version of the Corolla, which just annihilates all the competition, and it's not even a trim level. It's a version of the Corolla that stands on its own. So we can confidently say that whatever you're looking for, you'll find it. On top of that, the Corolla is reliable. Well, what did you expect? This is Toyota. Of course, this is going to be one of the best on the market in terms of durability and reliability. But we're not saying everything is perfect. There are some clear drawbacks and well-deserved criticism that the Corolla needed to fix, and some of them still need to be fixed. It hasn't always been this king of sedans. Yeah, it was famous, but fame also shines a huge spotlight on your flaws. That was exactly what happened back in the early 2010s. So many customers reported on oil consumption, transmission failures, and water pump failures. But now, all these problems are fixed. This is why they're reliable. It's not magic. But there is one major thing. So many people still don't like the Corolla. Design For a long time, the Corolla has been criticized for being too simple and too basic. But by now, you must have realized that Toyota has been changing up their design concepts and overall aesthetics. The big cars are becoming more aggressive, and the small ones are now more boxy and futuristic looking. But on the Corolla, Toyota is now doing something different. Even though the Corolla is clearly small compared to their big trucks, they're going with the same approach. The front grille and the headlights have been redesigned. The headlights have been replaced with LEDs, and all the different trims have their own unique features and aesthetic. The base trim level is the Corolla L, which has a simple and elegant design with 15-inch steel wheels, LED headlights and taillights, a black front grille, and color-keyed outside door handles and mirrors. If you're not satisfied with this, you can go for the other two alternative concepts, the sporty trims or the trims that provide luxury and refined features. Skipping the trim that sits right above the base model, it has a few more features in the base model, but it has a similar concept. The SE is one that has a sportier and more aggressive look. It comes with 18-inch machined alloy wheels, LED daytime running lights, a sport mesh grey metallic front grille, a color-keyed rear spoiler, a chrome tip double pipe exhaust, and sport-side rocker panels. It also has an available SE Nightshade Edition package, which adds blacked-out features and badging. But the second concept is the Corolla XLE, which is the most luxurious and refined in the Corolla lineup. It has 16-inch alloy wheels, LED headlights with adaptive front lighting system, LED tail lights with smoked sport trim, chrome front grille surround, and color-keyed heated power outside mirrors. It also has a smart key system, a remote keyless entry system, and an available power moonroof. But if you want the best of both worlds, then go for the XSE. And if you don't want to settle for that too, then Toyota has made the top-of-the-line model just for that. It has the same concept of luxury and athleticism, but the XSE Apex Edition has much more features than all of the trims. This is how Toyota decided to go with their trim lineup, 
and we can't say this is good or bad, it all depends on your preferences. But in our opinion, this aggressive look suits the Corolla very much. It makes it look like it packs a heavy punch, but let's talk about that. Engine Options Under the hood, the Corolla has three options. The base L-Trim boasts a 1.8-litre four-cylinder engine that delivers a robust 139 horsepower and 126 pound-feet of torque. But if you want more oomph, the LE and XLE grades pack a 2-litre four-cylinder engine, churning out an impressive 169 horsepower and 151 pound-feet of torque. And for the driving enthusiasts, the SE and XSE models feature a specially tuned 2-litre engine that promises a sportier driving experience with a responsive throttle and crisper handling. But that's not all. There is a hybrid option that combines the 1.8-litre engine with an electric motor and a battery pack to produce 138 horsepower and up to 50 miles per gallon combined. And every 2024 Corolla comes standard with a continuously variable gearbox designed to seamlessly blend power delivery and fuel economy. But don't worry if you crave a more engaging driving experience. The SE and XSE trims offer an available six-speed manual gearbox, putting you in complete control on the road. But what we recommend to someone who likes the thrill of driving with maxed-out acceleration, and to someone who needs that feeling of power with an incredible handle, is to ditch all of the options we talked about, because there is more. The Corolla GR this is basically Corolla maxed out. It is a high-performance variant of the Corolla that is inspired by the rally racing heritage of Toyota. It has a turbocharged 1.6-litre three-cylinder engine that produces 300 horsepower and 273 pound-feet of torque. It also has a six-speed manual transmission and an all-wheel drive system that can vary the torque distribution between the front and rear wheels. It has 18-inch alloy wheels, LED headlights and taillights, triple exhausts, a 12.3-inch digital gauge cluster, an 8-inch touchscreen, and all the standard safety features. All of this is on the base model, and if you want to, you can go for the Circuit Edition, which comes with a carbon fiber roof, a rear wing, a domed hood, limited slip differentials, suede and leatherette upholstery, heated seats and steering wheel, and an 8-speaker JBL audio system. But we're not finished. There is one more trim, called Marizo Edition. It is the most extreme. It has track-tuned suspension, additional body bracing, shortened gearbox ratios, and more torque. 295 to be exact. This is crazy, but Toyota didn't stop here. No, they have got rid of the rear seat, window regulators, speakers, and wiper to lose weight. With all these features, the GR Corolla honestly doesn't seem like a city car, but more of a track racing vehicle. It is ridiculously fast, with amazing top speed and the ability to accelerate from 0 to 60 in 5.3 seconds. Now, you know what this means. When the features get too good, the price tag also becomes too expensive. But we'll talk about that in depth for both versions in just a few minutes. Before that, let's talk about another thing that affects the price. Interior Design Step inside the 2024 Corolla and prepare to be enveloped in a world of refined luxury and comfort. Toyota has meticulously crafted an interior that exudes sophistication and prioritizes passenger well-being with premium materials and supportive seats that'll make every ride a breeze. The dashboard and infotainment system have undergone a modern makeover, creating a sleek and intuitive interface. At the heart of it, you'll find an innovative touchscreen display measuring 7 inches on all trims and expanding to an impressive 8 inches on higher grades. And whether you're an Apple, Android, or even an Amazon user, you'll be able to connect your smartphone seamlessly. That is standard on all trims. The higher grades come equipped with a premium JBL sound system with nine speakers. Price and release date. In our opinion, this is the perfect sedan for someone looking for a practical and convenient car that wouldn't hurt their pocket. Because the base model starts at $22,000 and goes up to $28,000, depending on the trim and configuration. And of course, you could go for the high performance version, the GR Corolla, but it would cost you around $37,000 for the base model and around $43,000 for the circuit grade. But if you want to go all out, then the top of the line model is around $50,000. It is a very high price, but it is the price you have to pay for a performance like that. All the models are expected to be launched before this year ends. We just have to wait and see. But what do you think? Is this a good value for money? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.